that senator was for broader, more transparent ventilation. And I had heard the question you had asked, and I, I, I mulled over it a bit. But let me suggest that at the time when that piece of legislation was being drafted, we were at our best efforts to think how we could put it out there in the public. You know that some time ago, the newspapers, I don't know if they still do it, used to extract from the Gazette births and deaths and marriages, because those are public things. We figured the same. The whole public should be concerned about this. Here is this huge immigration issue that has shocked the nation. So Channel 7 and Kremandala and everybody could go to the Gazette and say, OK, here are the publications of the names of people. So there is a broader base of people to say, oh, but I don't know any such person living at that, that spot. The idea was to bring everybody as, as wide as possible into the mix. And I did hear why not in specific papers, but then we begin to see who and who not. So the Gazette being the official publication, nothing stops as a, as a public service for the news media to, to, to grab this information. These people's names are published. They live on that spot, they live on that spot. Maybe they don't, but somebody should know. And after they've given, publish again that now they have been given. It, is, it was an attempt to bring that broader transparency to the public so that it was not some secret little thing in a corner that some minister signed and, and he runs away with it. But the whole public, the whole world should know. It was like marriage. Bands are published. You, people know, okay, you're getting married and that. Or births are deaths. That was the general idea. But, Minister, with respect, this is of no use. If you put Wang Hong Kim, 16 Kiskadi Avenue, so what? Anybody looks at that in the Gazette, if they get the Gazette, and see that, what would they do? But as I said, Senator, if somebody got it, if they got it, and, 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 and let us be more proactive in this, in this nation. Here is an immigration issue. It can't be that all of us are going to say, well, it's that one and that one, and we don't take an active part. So, names are published. People know names are published. Let us say... Channel 7 or anybody publishes those, decides to publish them. And somebody says, oh, but I live at number one, so nobody lives there. All right. Then they have a responsibility to call in. Minister, him. Minister, the point is this. If I saw Wang Hong Kim, 16 Kiskali Avenue, and I went to the immigration department and said, I have a concern, would they hand me his file to review it? I don't know if they'd hand you his file, but if you said... The answer is no. Yes, but if you said, I know he doesn't live there, it certainly would get the attention of the committee. My point is this. Why do you not publish Wang Hong Kim, residing at such and such of address, recommended by Elvin Penner, coming from China, living in Belize for five years, and give the full details of the person, including who is recommending him, and saying to people that if you have some information, pass it in. If you wish more information, contact the director. Publish so that we know who the, these names that appear over and over and over as recommenders. People will then see that there is a cartel in operation. When you have ministers involved, you will see ministers' name over and over. Whereas pointing somebody's name and an address is of no assistance to anyone. I have no difficulty with that, Senator. It's an advancement on the law, and but, I would support it. But 